She's dead. She is fucking dead. I need to get dressed. Now we wait for the call. We're waiting. Still waiting. And still waiting. <gasps> yes, Dr. Calkins. I'm on my way. Locked. Key. Still locked. <laughs> Other door. <laughs> Dr. Calkins is in room 16. Who is that guy? Thanks a lot for visiting me in the hotel. I understand this might not be your usual practice, but I really need to talk. I'm glad you decided to do this again. Considering your position and tragic circumstances, I was more than willing to help. Can you tell me once again? why you decided to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for this hotel? After what happened to my sister, I was unable to stay there. Every night I had the same nightmare about her and it was torture for me. I was lucky enough to get some money from my employer, at least for now. I do not have to worry about paying rent and I can enjoy the hotel pizza. Kate, this is not healthy. You have to face your issues right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You talked about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? They are very real at times, but usually when I wake up, the nightmare does not end. I have this deep feeling, more like a voice telling me to do something. What does this voice tell you to do exactly, Kate? It is very important to say it out loud to ensure that it is not real. The voice tells me to kill someone. To kill? Who? Does this voice specify a person, a name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide? Kate, I need you to focus on this. I don't know, it, it just tells me to kill. I see my sister and she is so real, but there is something off about her. Something sinister in her voice. Kate, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see your sister in this room right now? Kate! Kate! <laughs> I, I am sorry. I, I am sorry. My head hurts. The, the medication is not helping at all and I, I don't know what to do. I fucking don't know how to get her out of my head. Kate, I need you to stay alert at all times. I will prescribe something for the headache. And we'll meet again in three days, all right? If there's an emergency, please call me. All right. All right. I will try to do the medication technique you told me about. Thanks again for the talk. It means more to me than you could imagine. Looking forward to the next visit. Ugh, I should go to my room. I think.
think it was room three. Yes. What is that on the table? Okay, well, that's the bed. But wait, there's a note on the table. Whatever, I should put these clothes in the closet. Somehow I'm tired and I should lay down. No, I want to read whatever this is. Here you go. We hope this letter finds you well. And I want to extend our appreciation for choosing Velvet Vista Hotel for your recent stay. Unfortunately, it has come to our attention that there are some issues that require immediate attention. We have received multiple complaints from other guests and our staff regarding loud banging noises and an unpleasant odor originating from your room. To ensure the comfort and tranquility of all our guests, we kindly request that you please adhere to the hotel's noise policy and be mindful of your noise level. If there's a specific issue or concern that requires our attention, please do not hesitate to contact our front desk. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this matter, and we look forward to the remainder of your stay at our hotel. Uh... It's my dead sister. It's not me. Who's knocking? Oh. Hello? Hello? Who's knocking? Excuse me? Hello? What the fuck? I should close that. Close what? Oh. Hello? <sighs> Kate? For my sister? Fuck the lights. I should get my phone. Uh -huh. Why the fuck did I even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here, but as usual, she has too many fucking problems to deal with. Unlike me, a drug addict who's trying to break free from all of this. Locked. Let me out of here. You guessed it. Can't even touch this one. Hello? Big door? Oh, here's a note. Every day is the same loop. I go to this hospital, get some medication, try to be a better self. Yeah. But what's the point? My sister doesn't give a shit anyway. I might die tomorrow and she won't even remember. That's fucked up. My medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value in broken things. But maybe if my sister is interested, maybe if she can pick up the phone and at least once be curious, all I can do is hope for the best. Bullshit phrase. And 
back we go. Nothing here. Oh, okay. Searching for her file. Ah, oh, yes, here it is. This blank year old patient presents for of alcohol and cannabis withdrawal. <laughs> History was obtained from the patient. Uh, let's see, I want rehab. I've been using. Patient is a single blank year old. AA woman with bipolar disorder, alcohol and cannabis abuse, other dependency who was admitted in with symptoms of depression, including C-A-H of voices telling her to hurt herself. She has done outpatient program and wants to change her life this time. Okay. Can't miss abuse. Jesus Christ. Sister. It's okay, sister. Get back here. I'm here now. Shit, the battery died. Now what? Now we do it in the dark. Do you feel it now? Do you feel guilty? You selfish bitch. You abandoned me when I needed you. You made a promise. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back. Go back and end this. What's up? Go back and end this. I should check on my sister first. That's the foul smell coming from my room. Oh no, I have to kill myself. <gasps> okay, bye.